Reading from the Hallelujah Scriptures Lucas, Luke, Part 21 And looking up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw a certain poor widow putting in two small coins. And he said, Truly I say to you, that this poor widow has put in more than all. For all these out of their excess have put in offerings for Elohim, but she, out of her poverty, has put in all that she had to live on. And as some were speaking about the Mikdash, that it was adorned with pleasant stones and gifts, he said, These that you see, the days are coming in which not one stone shall be left upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Teacher, but when shall this be? And what is the sign when this is about to take place? And he said, See that you are not led astray, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am, and the time is near, and do not go after them. But when you hear of fightings and unrests, do not be alarmed, for these have to take place first. But the end is not immediately. Then he said to them, Nation shall rise against nation, and reign against reign, and there shall be great earthquakes in various places, and scarcities of food and deadly diseases, and there shall be terrors and great signs from the Shamaim, and there shall be great tempests. But before all this, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the congregations and prisons, and be brought and be brought before sovereigns and rulers for my name's sakes, my name's sake. And it shall turn out to you for a witness, therefore, resolve in your hearts not to premeditate on what to answer. For I shall give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to refute or resist. And you shall also be, be betrayed by parents and brothers and relatives and friends, and shall, and some of you shall be put to death. And you shall be hated by all because of my name. But not a hair of your head shall be lost at all. Possess your lives by your endurance. And when you see Yerushalayim surrounded by armies, then know that its laying waste is near. Then let those in Yahudah flee to the mountains, and let those who are in the midst of her go out, and let not those who are in the fields enter her. Because these are days of vengeance to fill all that have been written. And woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing children in those days. For there shall be great distress in the earth and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and, by, and be led away, captive into all nations. And Yerushalayim shall be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are filled and there shall be signs in the sun and moon and stars and on the earth anxiety of nations in bewilderment at the roaring of the sea and agitation men fainting from fear and the expectation of what is coming on the earth for the powers of the Shamayim shall be shaken and then they shall see the bane of Adam coming in a cloud with power and much esteem. And when they, these begin to take place, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. And he spoke a parable to them, look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they have already budded observing it, you shall know for yourselves that summer is now near. So you also, when you see these take place, know that the reign of Elohim is near. Truly I say to you, this generation 
shall by no means pass away till all shall have taken place. The Shamayim and the earth shall pass away, but the words, but my words, shall be no by no means pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down by gluttony and drunkenness, and worries of this life, and that day come on you suddenly. For it shall come as a snare on all those dwelling on the face of all the earth. Watch then at this at all times, and pray that you be counted worthy to escape all. You be counted worthy to escape all this about to take place, and to stand before the bane of Adam. And he was teaching in the Mikdash by day. But at night he went out and stayed in the mountain of olives, and early in the morning all the people came to him in the Mikdash to hear him. Amen.